Stocks are on track to close the first trading week of the year with four consecutive down days, and that could be bad news. The Stock Traders Almanac warns the first five trading days are an open for the rest of the year. But my next guest is a little more optimistic and, in fact, says he's rarely seen this many good investment opportunities. Here with me now is Steve Ott, the Chief Investment Officer of Equities at Federated Hermes. It's great to have you here. Welcome. Likewise, Kelly. Especially because your mood is so different from a lot of the, well, okay, maybe it's not as different right now. We've seen a lot of optimism around the turn of the year, but you're saying you really see a lot of opportunities out there, even with stocks near all-time highs. Yeah, I mean, we're the broader market, Kelly, we're thinking 5,200 as our target for the end of the year, so it's not heroic, uh, probably single-digit return kind of market. You know, maybe we're setting up for 10% off of current levels. Uh, but we think the excitement is underneath, because obviously most of the return in the market last year, well-known, was the Magnificent Seven, and everything else didn't do much. Mm -hmm. um, and now, there, you know, there's so many stocks out there that are still 10, 20, 30, even 50 percent off their old highs. As we break through, if you get into an economic situation like you've been discussing that's not a big recession, we think it kind of happened already in an asynchronous way. You think it happened already? Yeah. This it, kind of series of, of, as we've talked with other, our Steve Leeson about rolling recessions or mini recessions, look at the ISM manufacturing, 15 months negative, that kind of thing. Right. Our, our rocky landing idea that we were going through an asynchronous recession for the last 18 months, chips, housing, commercial real estate, the, you know, the regional banks, et cetera. And the, I think people are going to look back and say, gee, the recession already happened. So once you get to that point, then all these stocks, these higher risk stocks, smaller cap stocks, value stocks, cyclical stocks, emerging market stocks mm -hmm. that have been held back because the recession is about to happen and it, the date of it keeps getting pushed away. Right. And you were optimistic all of this year and, and the market and the facts have come around to that point of view. So you, and you think we, we, it's, it's kind of we can keep going. You know, even yeah. where we are. And, and you have some names here. New Fortress Energy, it's a small cap. PNC, the regional bank. Argenics and Biotech. Tencent in China. You're not afraid of emerging markets here either. No. Those are the most oversold stocks in the market. And, you know, with the dollar starting to soften up, interest rates coming off, and expectations being so low. I mean, everyone's calling China uninvestable. Mm -hmm. Hong Kong, didn't me, they just have four down years in a row yeah, on that market? Yeah, and that's usually a bell ringer. When something's uninvestable and it's in the cover of Barron's, you know, can't invest there. So the, these uh, Tencent, as an example, is let's call it the Facebook uh, of China, and it's trading at a single-digit multiple. It's down 60 percent off its highs. Uh, it, all you need is just a whiff of good news, mm -hmm. and those stocks are poised to have big moves up.